TV favorites, and <laughs> and I say April Beauty. Oh Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my April Beauty favorites, and I say beauty because I kind of splurged a lot in the month of April, and. I need to just get it out there and share it with you guys because I am obsessed with all of these products and there is not one product that I've bought that I hate. I love everything I bought and I didn't want to do a haul video because I knew that all these were going to be in my favorites so that is why we're doing this right now. And I'm sorry if there's like shadows, there's cars just passing passing along. Before I get into my April favorites, I want to make the announcement that I am your new Arbonne consultant. Woo! A lot of you probably don't know what Arbonne is, but it is a botanical, vegan, and all natural skincare, makeup, and nutrition line. I have been using Arbonne since I was about six years old. I remember my mom making me the green orange juice drinks and it's like grass drinks but it's so good for you. But my mom used to sell Arbonne back in the day when we lived in Florida and she had great success. She just went a different path. Now that I'm 21 and I'm a little healthier and I'm trying to take care of my body some more and I've been working out, running a lot, I kind of wanted to dive into this product and into this company and I'm really passionate about the product and the company that I'm working with so once that happens you're kind of like okay I should sell this so if you guys want more information on how you can get discounts please let me know leave messages email me comment anything on any of my social media my new health page and my Arbonne page will be down below so you guys can go leave comments on there um, literally anywhere I will answer you guys so if you have questions about any of that let me know and I might do another video so thumbs up if you want another video on all of my Arbonne um, experiences so far and how you guys can benefit from me selling to you so getting into my April favorites I'm going to start with the one thing that's not a beauty product and that is my tablet this is awkward. This is the Samsung Galaxy 3 tablet, and I'm obsessed with this. I've had this for like two years though, so... I've been reading Station Eleven on here, and if you guys haven't heard about that book, sorry I'm dark. If you guys haven't heard about Station Eleven, it is probably the most amazing book you will ever read. A um, case, like, you can prop it up so it's really easy to like type at school if you want to do notes and stuff. So this is an amazing tablet, and I'm obsessed with it, and I've been reading a lot. Okay, diving into the makeup, and I mean the makeup and beauty products. There's just so much. There's so much. Oh, another one of my favorites. Look over there. Okay. Look over there, everybody. What is that? What is that? Oh, you can't really see it. Okay, so that was complete fail, but it is my cap and gown because I'm graduating next Saturday. No big deal. I'm so kind of ADD. Kind of. I'm going to start with. the repair cream that comes with it. It's in the same exact line and I love these together and uh, they're very natural and feel great on my skin. But I do have some Arbonne stuff coming in so when that comes in after I use this I will do a review on that as well. Okay just going in an opposite direction I have, you guys have seen this before, I still have so much of it left. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfume Daisy and um, Again, I don't know which one this is. They have like different ones like the white flowers and whatever, but I thought this was the cutest and to tell you the truth, it's probably my 
favorite perfume ever that I've ever purchased in my life. So yeah, really nice for spring. I wear this all the time. Just squirt a little bit, get out the dough. For a hair product that I've been loving, I've, oh God, I need to do a product I regret buying. I did say, I don't know if I said it in this clip because I've done this video like three times, but I don't know if I said it, but I said that I don't regret any of the things that I've bought, but I regret buying my Joyco shampoo and conditioner. It is the red one. It is disgusting. It left crap in my hair, like sticky crap in my hair. Not like, not like, oh, your hair's protected. No. <sighs> It's disgusting. Don't buy the red bottles. So speaking of hair, this is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. And let me tell you, my hair has grown, you can't really tell, a lot since I got it cut. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I did just get a trim so it looks a little shorter than what it did. But I have this to thank because every time, I also have my Kenra spray, but this is way more of my favorite than the Kenra spray. Um, this just helps my ends like keep their oils and it's just amazing. If you guys have it, it's a 10 products, how do you like them? I really like the leave-in conditioner too. I've loved makeup the month of April and that's because I've had shows to go to, I've had different events, so I've been really, really, really loving makeup, especially lip products, especially pink or berry, pink not so much, but berry, yes. The three lip stick glosses that I've been loving, this is the first lip gloss I've been loving and also um, it's like a duo to the Buxom lipstick, but I find myself going towards the lip gloss a lot more. This is in Pucker Up and it's the Buxom lip gloss and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink color. I'll swatch a little bit for you guys on my hands. Let's see, but look how pretty that is. I just think it's the perfect berry pinky color. For some reason, my my skin tone doesn't look with, good with like really, really pink, pink colors, like uh, uh, that Germain color from MAC. And, and then I have this beautiful Milani. Okay, Milani, you are amazing. Let's give a round of applause to Milani. Yes, you guys rock. All of your products are so amazing. Lip liner, lipstick, blushes, what? That's the only thing I've tried, but I'm sure all your other products are pretty awesome too. So this is called Matte Orchid, and I've showed you guys this before, but it is so beautiful. It's right there. So pretty. It's just the perfect berry pink color. I love the orchids, the dark purples, the pinky, purpley ones, love. Then, because uh, Lily Pulitzer, you need to just have a permanent line at Target because everything was gone, everything, except a few lips, lip glosses, which I didn't know I already had this lip gloss, but I love the packaging of her products. They're so beautiful. But this one is, I don't think it has a name. Oh, Future Fuchsia Orchestra is what it's called. And it's so beautiful. I'll swatch this one too. All of these are like the same colors. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. And it's right there. So it's gorgeous. All of them are literally really, really similar, but love that. And it comes off, it's on my lips right now. It's a beautiful gloss and I'm just, again, obsessed. I don't know what else to say. Obsessed is like the only word I have. And then I know this, seriously? Okay, yep. That's a stain. So I recently been loving my Benetton from Benefit and it's just incredible. I don't use it for my cheeks, so that's why I'm showing it to you guys with my lip products because I use it for my lips and it just, when I want a natural look, it looks perfect. It's a perfect rosy pink. It's just beautiful. It glides on super nicely and it doesn't like look patchy because you just rub it with your finger and it's good to go. You're good to walk out the door. So love this. And if you use this on your cheek, how much do you use? I'm kind of scared. I, I tried it a little bit and I was a little scared. So I have it all over my finger. <laughs> love this stuff and I highly suggest you guys get this for spring because you don't want all this lip gloss on you when you're at the beach. You just want to throw a little bit of that on. Be like, mm, these are my natural lips. Okay, so as for skin products, as you guys know, I love my Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. Obsessed. Um, but I have been obsessed again. I am stopping that word. I've been loving my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Cream and 
I didn't know that it was a concealer, even though it says correcting cream. I mean, it makes sense. Concealer's correct thing. But I didn't know that it was like a beautiful foundation color. It's so amazing and it matches me perfectly. Sometimes I go out the door and I just wear this and it's like, mm, natural skin, girlfriend. Not really because there's a correcting cream on. But it is kind of pricey for what it is. It's $30, I believe, but honestly, a little bit goes a long way. Take a dab, put it on the areas that are red, then put your foundation over it, and you wouldn't even know that you had redness, girl. And my favorite new and improved blotting system. Um, oh, hello, have you guys tried this? It is incredible. Um, the only thing I want to say about the License to Blot, this is the Professional License to Blot by Benefit, is that when you are ma wearing makeup and you use this at the end of the day, it will smear your makeup off. Not completely off, but it will smear it around and you might have a little bit of streakage, but without makeup, this is holy grail. Um, because, you know, some days I don't like wearing makeup and the only issue I have is being oily so I carry this around with me and I just blot it off and it's perfection I don't need to have those disgusting oil wipes I just use this and I'm like mm, yes girl this is life it's so like I just ranted about I love Milani so much this is their blush in tea rose and it is a gorgeous pink color and I mean gorgeous I am obsessed with it. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off or anything. I'm totally flipping you off. This is awkward. But I just really, really love this product. It comes off so beautifully. A little bit, again, goes a really long way, so don't like overdo it on your brush. Like tap that thing off a little bit because it's like a little really pigmented, but that's a good thing because you want to build, right? Um, love it. T-Rose, beautiful. And as for my contour palette, it is the Anastasia contour palette. I go to this all the time, all the time. Okay all the time. Um, like I said in my previous video, I believe my everyday makeup routine, I use this highlighter and this bronzer a lot and then the banana powder to set my concealer. It just works. It just works. It's really nice and compact. I take it everywhere and I'm in love with it. Getting into the last part of this video, I'm going to be talking about eye stuff. So I'm going to get into my favorite eyeshadow of this month or last month, April. Um, it is a NYX eyeshadow in Mermaid Serene. <laughs> Mermaid! Yes. And look how cute it is. It has like a little bow there. I really want you guys to see the bow. I don't know if you could tell, but there's a bow there and it's really cute. Oh, this color is so pretty! Look at that! Look how beautiful that is! Oh, but I like to do this with this because I'm more of a neutral eye look girl I like to just put this a little bit into my crease into like the V and it just brightens up my eye it just looks like a mermaid and I love it I've been on a mission to find the perfect eyebrow stuff because I wanted I didn't I really don't want to keep spending so much money especially since I'm like getting out of college soon and it's kind of like oh okay time to save money Delphine and my friend here on YouTube Kathleen she actually uses this and I was like oh this is perfect it's in blonde it's a beautiful consistency it's just like take a brow and I think it matches really well what do you guys think I'm going to be talking to you about my holy grail item can we just take a second can we just take a second to see my eyelashes? No extensions, all me baby, with a little help from this. So this is the Roller Lash by Benefit, and it is the most incredible mascara I've ever, 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 ever tried. So because it has that dipped effect, it helps you curl without using the um, eyelash curl. Curler, I can't speak, but, and then it has just that grip of the mascara wand that helps you lift your lashes. Then I have three eyeliners, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the um, their real push-up liner first because I am just super impressed with this technology that Benefit has come out with and I'm going to swatch this right here for you guys to show you how amazing it comes out. How pigmented that is. It's so beautiful. The black one guys, not the pink one. Um, it actually when I was swatching it earlier, I couldn't wipe it off with a makeup wipe, so I had to like scrub it off. So that's another good sign that it stays on a very, very long time. And then another cool thing is, is that it is a slanted brush and all you do is you twist up the bottom of this and then gel comes out of the top. So it has that really 
precise line that you could just draw your uh, wing with. So then another one of my favorite eyeliners right now is a dupe for the Kat Von D Eye Tattoo Liner. And I love that liner so much, but I'm not going to spend $20 for another liner just because they run out. It just doesn't make sense. So I just paid $6 for this gorgeous felt pen from NYX. And on the other side, it has a... Um, has like a crayon one, but I really only use the felt tip. And I will swatch that for you guys too below the Benefit one, and it looks like very pigmented as well, and it glides on really nicely as well too. As well too. So last but not least, this is the Master Graphic by Maybelline, and this is more of a marker consistency, but it's really awesome too because it has that slant effect just like the Benefit one, but this is a marker, it's not an actual gel and I'll swatch that underneath this one. And again, really, really, really amazing payoff. It's that one, the longer line there. All of them look similar, and the top one is the most expensive, and these two are the least expensive. So they come off really nicely, and they're great dupes for the Kat Von D eyeliner. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my April favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't done a favorites video in a little bit because, again, I just did not splurge in the month of March, so April was kind of like a, <gasps> I need to splurge on beauty products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you check out my Arbonne website. If you want to purchase anything, go ahead, go through my website, and if you want to hear about any discounts or anything like that, please follow me on all my pages down below. All information's on there, or you can just comment, message me, email me, whatever you'd like. Thumbs up this video for an Arbonne video for more videos from moi, and I will see you later. Bye!